Marcus Conti reporting. Let me make a prediction. You ready? For the big election tomorrow. Uh oh. Now this is a shits and giggles video. No one can hold me accountable. This is the disclaimer. <laughs> it's just a prediction. It's based on opinion. No real statistics other than uh, maybe some statistics that I'm going to talk about. So, so tomorrow is the fake election. The rigged election. The ballot stuffed election. The, the, the rigged machine election. The gerrymandered election in the United States of America. Between the crooked Democrats and the crooked Republicans. And the president who claims he's neither. Right? Well, we need more Republicans. So, all right, so 2016, here's the deal, right? So, um, some statistics based on some uh, preliminary evidence, right? Is, uh, you remember Nate Silver? Remember that guy, Nate Silver? Uh, so, Nate Silver, if you remember the name, he's the guy who said all the way, all the way into the, ele all the, way into the election day, said that Hillary Clinton had a 100% chance of winning, beating Donald Trump. Remember that? Remember that guy? A little, little guy, Jewish guy, fucking Nate Silver 538, right? He's the tried and true, the go-to guy for the Democrats. Nate Silver. <laughs> he's so fucking wrong, it's, it's unbelievable, right? So he's now back, and I just skimmed his page. He's got the Democrats at 86% chance of taking the House. <laughs> And he's got, he's got the Democrats, he's got the Republicans solidly keeping the Senate. Right? Now, 86%, he's got the, he's got the Democrats 86% taking the House. Right? So, based on what? Right? These guys, the pundits and these, these, these pollsters, you know, historically, categorically got it wrong. What, what, did, they, what did they miss? Right. What they what they look at is well first of all they, they, they're not they're paid to not you know look at all of the evidence which is the independence. It's the it's the bulk of the center of the country that has walked away from these parties. Right? It's an open election in most states, right? But again it's the, the you know the, the cheat factor, right? It's the cheating factor. Who's gonna cheat more? Who's gonna Who's going to out-cheat the other one to, to, to win? What guys like Nate Silver do is they look at the money. They say, well, who put up more money? And it's probably the Democrats at this point. Because they're down, right? Republicans are holding strong. Look, whoever wins, it doesn't matter for the people. It doesn't matter. You know, you've, you've, nothing's going to change. Taxation on the wealthy is not going to change. Income and wealth inequality is just going to keep going in the same direct direction. It's going to become more and more severe. You know, one in seven on food stamps. 65% of the country doesn't have $400 to their name, right? So, but nonetheless, Nate Silver thinks that the Democrats have a chance of winning. So I'll take the bet against him. <laughs> That's safe to say, right? All right. I mean, he's just, he's just categorically wrong. The, 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 the fundamental thing that the polls miss and refuse to consider and that they've learned nothing from 2016 is that, that the, the, the vast majority of this country, the center, ah, center, strong center, 40% of the country, hates the Democrats and mildly hates the Republicans, right? But they just hate the Democrats a little more. Why? Because they, they equate a, a... Hillary Clinton is the poster child for hate. <laughs> but they also equate the, the Democratic Party with the, you know, CNN sucks. CNN sucks. You know, that, that whole revolt against mass media. Right? And the Democrat, Democrats have to own that because they're the bulk of the media, the, the, the corporations that own them and pay for that kind of messaging. 
is deeply ingrained in the American psyche now, and it's likely that tomorrow you see the surge ah, from out of nowhere. <laughs> they come out of the dugout and they push the button for the against against. That's all it is. It's a it's a vote against. It's not a vote for anything because nobody believes in shit anymore, right? Nobody knows shit is, is rigged. Right? So you see the the anti vote tomorrow. It swings it into the Republican part, uh, Republican column, for lack of a place to go because there's no legitimate, there's no legitimate party to to or candidates that people believe in anymore. It's just, it's worse and worser, right? It's, it's bad and badder. It's shit and shittier, right? So, so my, um, my prediction, based on no statistical evidence whatsoever, <laughs> because that doesn't really matter, it's, a, it's, it's immeasurable at this point, right? But history shows us something. Ah, history. 2016, what has changed? Nothing. See, markets... You could you look at the 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 elections in terms of um, uh, market trend, right? See, nothing has changed. It's in the 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 hate and the disdain for uh, the political system continues in the same direction until there's a significant reversal in that opinion, which we have not seen where. You know, only 10% of the country actually believes what the media tells them. And 10% and of the country has faith in the uh, political, um, uh, the politicians. Right? No change. No, no change whatsoever in that, in that direction. No reversal. No market reversal. Technical analysis. You can look at it. There's no reversal in that opinion. So, based on that and that alone, I will say that the the Democrats will will lose the House of Representatives. They're, well, I mean, not lose, but not get it. And uh, the Republicans will maintain the the um, will retain the Senate. And it gives this president, Donald Trump, the ability to pull out the wrecking ball using the Republicans to destroy the fucking. Destroy the Democrats. Crush them. Make them go away. Right? That's that's what his that's his mission, right? Is it good for the country? No, but I think it's necessary. I think it's a necessary evil at this time right now. Right? Necessary evil. The Democrats must they, they cheated in 2016, they stole an election from the favorite they put up a they put up a corporatist shill Hillary Clinton a a corrupt evil fuck and expected people to swallow that poison and they didn't and they walked away and those people will walk back tomorrow and vote against vote against All right. my name is Marcus Conti reporting